Welcome back everyone. Uh, thanks for joining. I have a fantastic and very interesting topic for you guys. And uh, we're going to take a look at uh, what the industry or the business calls toned or tarnished coins. And believe it or not, as ugly as some tarnished coins may look, especially when you pull them out of a drawer that's been sitting there for many years, these coins actually are worth a ton of money, okay, if they have the original color to them. Now granted, there's going to be specific toned color schemes that are just, they don't look good, period. So uh, what they call terminal, or what you see as far as black and dark grays and maybe even dark browns, uh, will not really qualify for what's attractive in the toned coin market. Uh, some of the most popular toned coins are um, the uh, the Morgan dollars, specifically because, as some of us know, they've had uh, bags and bags and bags of these stored at the um, uh, either the Federal Reserve or the Mint, and they re released all of them during the 70s in what we call or now know as the GSA hoard. So these bags, these canvas bags, of course, they, they have all sorts of chemicals. Sulfur is the biggest catalyst when it comes to uh, producing these wild colors on these coins. Uh, these coins have just been sitting in these bags, if you can imagine, for decades on end. You know, you'd have coins on top of coins, and you'd have crescent moon-shaped uh, toning on them. You'd have toning where the coin has sat up against the canvas material and produced a really attractive, what they call textile toning to it. So we're going to take a look at some very ordinary dated coins, very common dated coins, and we're going to look at the extraordinary pricey, prices that these coins have uh, um, brought uh, just in a matter of the last few months of 2016. To say that tone coins are a huge part of the market and uh, it, it is, doesn't even describe what it brings to the market. Uh, it, it's its own collecting niche, I guess, in numismatics. So we're gonna take a look, uh, first of all, at the, the coin that you've been staring at, the uh, 1879S, which was sold on great collections um, as recently as it looks like June 28th of last year, 2015. This is a uh, Mint State 67 graded by PCGS and um, the book value is only $775. It's a really common coin for the date and grade. However, this one sold for $6,900. So the mere fact of keeping it original with that wild co uh, uh, colors, as you can see, it's got some really pretty blues, pinks, it transitions into yellow and then just a spot of green at the bottom of the obverse makes all the difference and you know what that that's what made drove the value of this particular coin last year uh and there you see the reverse okay so we're going to move over and transition to the the uh, 1881 that you see before you and um this is a complete monster uh, such a beautiful coin this co coin sold on great collections um july 20th of 2014 so only a few years ago okay tone coin market hot popular whatever you want to call it this one has a book value of only hundred sixty dollars in this uh, mint state 65 very common grade uh, for this very common date actually graded by PCGS hundred sixty dollar or actually three hundred twenty five dollar or no it's hundred sixty dollars I take that back this one sold for just over $4,300 in 2014. Huge. They, you know, it, this is one of those toning looks that, that's just simply attractive. You got a lot of pastel sea blues. You know, you got some purple hues in there. Really cool coin. Very attractive. And then there's a reverse there for you. Uh, you know, it's got a little bit of uh, the yellow on the peripheral the, toward the edge of the coin. Uh, so this is another great collections uh, sell uh, here recently. So up next we have a uh, 1882S super high grade graded Mint State 67 by PCGS. This one sold also on great collections. You see the theme, great collections, they sell a lot of toned coins. There have been a few on eBay that have sold as well. 
PCGS book value on this is $850. It's probably a coin that sells for much less than that without the toning. So if it's blast white or have been dipped, so it eliminates the toning, then it's gonna sell you know, quite a bit less. So this coin that books out around 850 sold for $2,650 back June 28th of last year. Same sale as that first 1881S that I had, uh, or the 1879S that I had highlighted for you in this video. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up with one more coin. Uh, and as you can see, there's the reverse of the 1882S. So we have one more great collection sold coin. And uh, it's uh, the um, 1885 another extremely common date, Mint State 64. It's not even a super high grade. This is like a, a typical, you know, uh, BU type coin that you'd find in a BU tray at a coin store. Book value for PCGS is only $79, guys. And this one sold for $2,400. An $80 coin sold for over two grand because of the wild colors on this coin. As you can see, this is probably my favorite out of the series of four coins that I'm highlighting here for you today. It's got the greens. It's got a little bit of gold and yellow on the left side, the 9 to 10 o'clock part of the front face of the coin. This has it all. This one sold in 2012 for that amount of money. And I'm telling you guys, Tone coin market is hot right now. It's blistering hot. There are folks that have found coins such as these in albums with really pretty colors. Hey, they, I would definitely send those out to grading. You know, uh, definitely test the market, sell these things. Um, uh, typical, decent colored examples, you know, w without any s scratches or uh, uh, what they call cabinet friction where it breaks up the, the toning. Uh, you know, have sold between two fifty and a thousand dollars, really routinely. Um, check out eBay completed auctions uh, because there have been more that have sold in varying types of degree of uh, color. So next time you see a toned coin with some pretty wild coloring on it, whether it covers the whole coin or not, before you take it to the dip, try and sell it first. Get it graded sell it first because you know what instead of making 40 50 bucks off the coin you found or from an inheritance or in an old collection yeah you could possibly have a five hundred thousand dollar coin on your hand maybe even more um for more information on how tongue coins are formed uh going back to the gsa hoard uh check out uh john e cash.com not the singer but the, uh, uh, the guy that sells a lot of these uh, online, uh, he has many fantastic thumbnail examples of coins that he's sold. And he also has a really cool tutorial of how colors are formed over time on these coins. It, it's, it's a must-see read. And, jeez, um, uh, uh, such a great topic, you know. If you guys have toned coins, I'd love to hear about them. Um, you know, if you've sold a few of these in the past... Uh, definitely uh, uh, go ahead and share in the comments below don't forget to subscribe I got some more new stuff coming up over the summer uh, we're going to take a look uh, at uh, more uh, new pickups we're going to take a look at more error coins uh, there's a lot of neat stuff coming to market um, this year so we're going to look at that as well thank you for watching and uh, I'll talk to you guys later have a wonderful uh, weekend